Welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Today, it's very seasonal. Got me Christmas bonts lid on. Uh, <laughs> we've got the HGX 68. We've also got a Power Kit 68. This is going in this. Now this is the seven and a half joule version. I've just shot it through the chrono, so we'll just see those results now. HGX with rubber balls, 3.05 Rubber metal balls, 6.94 So yeah, that's coming in just under, well, under seven and a half joules. Now, when I was shooting it outside before, I, it did show 13 joules at one point, hovering around 12 and 10. But to that, uh, on the indoors with warm CO2, it's coming in below seven and a half joules. So I don't know what the other day's results were all about. Today, we're gonna take this apart, fit the power kit, and there's a couple of other little jobs we can do inside to uh, get this more power. So let's crack on. There's a lot of screws apparently, so we shall see. So to start with, I'm just gonna take off the, uh, the hardware. So I've got a red dot on here. We'll take that off. Front sight's off. Take the stock off. Apparently this muzzle brake just twists off. Yeah, it's quite loose. Take this off. Now there is a spring in here, so I have to be careful of that. There's the spring with that piece. Take this rail off. So I'll leave the rail there with the screws in it. That rail feels metal to me. So, what comes off here?
on the pump handle there's like two little roll pins. I'm just going to tap it through. Not liking it that way, let's try going it through that way. That should, yeah, there you go. That's off, so now, with all the screws out, it should split in half. Ah, what's this? A couple of screws here. that side and that's that side There's one just in there, didn't see it. What's that? Talking to the camera. Oh. That's better, get that slid right off out of the way. <laughs> Another one in there, look. Would you believe it? That should be all undone now. Hopefully, Oh, 
It's just lots of bits. I'm just getting it apart. This piece here is where the uh, the power kit goes in. But I need to heat this up before we try taking it out. So I'm just going to heat that up on the hob and then uh, I'll get hold of it and we'll see if we can take it out with a screwdriver. Bit of heat, that comes straight out. A lot of people have had trouble with these on their HDRs and stuff. If you just heat it up just come straight out. This piece is where the valve block's gonna be, so we're gonna take that out in a minute. But we'll pull this pipe out. And this little top hat piece falls out. I don't know if you can see that. That little piece there comes out of that. That's a restrictor. So that's got to come out. So now we've got to get this off, so I need to go and get me other pliers. I tend to do circlet pliers. And they're like so. And then just with another pair of pliers. And that comes undone. Piece of cake. You can see that in there, there's a like a black plastic piece. That just pulls out. So you've got a nice empty chamber now. And you can see in there, I don't know how well you can see in there, there's some like ribs. I'm just going to get the Dremel, try not to get the threads and just Dremel out those edges. So I'll be back with you when I've done that. So I've just dremeled out the inside of that, just to take those ridges off, and it just gives it a bit more space in there for a bit more CO2. So all we do now is pop that cap back on. So that's on. So this piece is going to get the new power valve needle thingy job. So we'll just take it out of the packet. That's the original and that's the, the new one which is a little bit shorter. So that's going to go into there, hopefully. It's just a bit tricky to get the thread started. Let's screw that in there. Just nip it up, don't have to go too tight, otherwise you'll damage it. So now, let's put it back together. It goes in there. It's quite similar to the uh, HDS68, the way it all goes in. 
I've got a reassembled gun now, which is re <laughs> reversal of removal, and um, then we're going to shoot through the chronograph. 6.94 grams. All I can say about that is wow. <laughs> That's gone from five joules to 28, 29. Uh, it's not because it was coming down towards the end, but I'm shooting one after the other with CO2. Um, so the potential is there. So this is potentially a 30 joule gun now. Um, so it does work. Those little mods that I've done inside it's a little bit tricky taking it apart. The pump handle comes off with some roll pins. Um, you know, there's a lot of screws, bits and pieces, but take your time. Don't take the safety out. You don't need to take the safety out. You can just undo the Allen screw in there and the, hand, and the two screws there and there and that handle just comes out. So you don't need to do that. I, I took it apart and it all fell out in bits. I thought, ah, oh. but it is quite straightforward put it back together. So, yeah, um, quite a big improvement. <laughs> so when the weather's a bit nicer and I've got the target range sorted out, I'm still working on the, on the range, we're getting it nicely leveled out. We'll go out there with this and see what damage we can do. With, I've got some old roasting tins and some, I've got an old pumpkin out there that I was gonna shoot. But uh, yeah, so this video was sponsored by Home Defence 24. I'll put a link to all the parts I've used in the description below, so check, the, check out their website. Fantastic service from them, as always, and uh, it has done the trick. Uh, there's no leaks anywhere, and it, it didn't fire on its own. It works as it should. So, chuffed to bits. So the power kit and the valve block delete thing and taking out the little top hat restrictor has all worked. So, so two thumbs up from me. But, uh, that's it for now, for this year. Uh, won't be doing any more videos. I have got some videos that I might release between Christmas and New Year. Uh, they're already done. So I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, so there might be some videos coming out, but that'll just be scheduled. So I'm just shutting down till the New Year. And uh, we'll see you in 2022. Bye for now.